Welcome to the World Summit on the Information Society 2016 in Geneva, Switzerland. And I am delighted to be joined by Marta Tomowska, Minister of Information Society and Administration in Macedonia. Marta, welcome. So please Thank do you. tell me what sort of progress is Macedonia making into becoming an information society? Thank you very much for your invitation. Uh, Macedonia, I'm, I'm really happy to say that it's making relatively good uh, progress in terms of development of information society. And I say relatively good because we always can do better and can uh, provide even more, uh, let's say, uh, services to our citizens that are uh, electronically, uh, electronic services, for example, for e-government services, e-business or whatever is needed. However, uh, the situation is good not only because we are really uh, good positioned on the indexes that uh, world uh, that international organizations are are measuring success uh, rate of the implementation of internet society like ITU index like World Economic Forum or World Bank but uh, it is the the real situation in the country if you if you if you if you uh, if you come to Macedonia for which I'm sending you the invitation now you can see that there is infrastructure and there is easiness let's say to access the internet from everywhere you, you you go even from the hotels from the streets from the uh, from the cafes uh, from the mm, offices whenever you are so that makes us like um, one of the, the the countries in the region that that has uh, a, a good results in this area we have um, ca uh, 70 percent of uh, penetration of broadband into the country, uh, while about 40 to 45 percent uh, is on a, on a fiber optic. Uh, we have uh, covered the entire country with mobile broadband. Uh, both of our mobile operat operators have uh, LTE networks, so it's 4G networks. You we say both of the mobile operators. I imagine that for competitive pricing, you would like more mobile operators to enter into the market to get exactly. prices down. Th that, that's exactly true. So the, uh, we are planning to, to uh, let's say, amend the regulation by opening the space for even more competition. Uh, to um, so we would like to uh, invite, let's say, mobile uh, network operators plus mobile alternative operators to enter the market so the end users, Macedonian citizens, have even better prices uh, for the mobile services. One of the issues, of course, is making sure that uh, everybody can have access to uh, the internet, mm -hmm. whether it's the young or the mm. elderly. And the elderly often feel that they've been left behind. What are you doing in Macedonia to make sure that they're part of the information society? Mm. Yes, since there is uh, good infrastructure, uh, we are also planning to uh, have the broadband as a universal service. Therefore, we are launching a tender for an operator that will provide uh, fixed broadband even to the remotest village in, in, in the country, which will be done by the end of 2017. Uh, uh, the infrastructure is there, the motivation is uh, something that we need to work on. We have started even uh, uh, to, to introduce uh, the information technology, uh, even from the uh, elementary school to our kids by uh, launching a project, uh, Computer Per a Child, even like seven or eight years ago. So the youngsters are ready to adopt the new technology. Uh, for the working people, they have internet, of course, uh, well, be because uh, of their job conditions. Uh, and for the elderly people, uh, they have, uh, they are really motivated to use the internet because uh, we are always, uh, always promoting the benefits from the internet. They can be in touch with with, uh, with their relatives uh, all around the world. They can they can read the news, get informed, uh, in get learn something something new that they they didn't know. And we, we did uh, 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 two interesting projects to, to in order to make uh, internet and the entire technology um, accessible for them, which was 
uh, implementation of 680 Wi-Fi kiosks all around the country, plus 25 uh, internet cafes that are sponsored by the government, where these people are getting basic uh, internet skills uh, trainings. So in fact, Macedonia as an applicant country for the European Union, you're well on the way to meeting the targets of the Digital Agenda 2020. Exactly, exactly. We are chasing the same goals that uh, are, that, uh, are um, valid for European Union members. Uh, by this, we are planning to have uh, broadband internet uh, with high speeds by the end of 2020, which means that the uh, entire population have to have an access to uh, really fast uh, broadband, which is about 30 megabits per second, while half of them, 50% of the population, uh, should be connected uh, via 100 megabits. Marta Tomowska, <laughs> Minister of Information Society and Administration in Macedonia, thank you very much for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And please do join us on the ITU YouTube channel for more interviews with ministers, regulators, business people, non-governmental organizations who are all trying to make sure that information, communication technologies are reaping the benefits for everybody around the world.